Okay, so I'm just going to do a skim cut and then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to get the uh, micrometers on there and show it to you uh, right after I cut it without uh, taking it off. So here we go. Okay, so I was cutting uh, dry at 890 RPM there. Uh, just a gorgeous finish. As you can see here, it's not dragging anything, and it does have a work lamp on it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mic it here for you. Yeah, I'm getting about uh, almost uh, Almost 600, one inch, uh, 600 uh, thousand, so it's a little under. It's a, uh, it's a uh, 90, about 97. So I want you to look at it. It's just a hair under 97. Hopefully you can see that. And take it over closer to the chuck here.
and uh, right about the same, just about 97 on a dot, just shy of it. Go right in the middle here. Yeah, we're a little shy of that there, but real close. Might have just not clamped down there as much. But we can see from the uh, this part's about nine and a half inches long that we're cutting in here, and I think you could probably read that. So basically, if you watch, very little difference in there. So that's going to conclude the uh, operational portion of the video here. Um, again, if you wanted me to paint it, it'd take a few more weeks, but you'd have yourself one gorgeous machine. You'd have something that looks a little bit more like that. But you pay for that. So that's going to conclude this video.